Hey everybody, HG Shaves here. I'm back with another video. Today, something slightly different than usual, though not that different. This is what IMCDB calls the Second Chance Shave, or something similar to that title. Um, basically, he encouraged his viewers to make a video where you shave using some products that maybe you had written off in the past. And um, I was tagged by my buddy John uh, of Latherhog. Uh, he did a second chance shave himself recently and then he tagged me in that. Uh, I'm going to include a link to John's video down below that you can go check out if you'd like. So what are going to be my second chance products today? Well, I have two basically. Um, that is first this 1960 Gillette Fat Boy. This was my second razor that I ever used. Um, and I would say this was the beginning of the end for me in terms of going down the wet shaving rabbit hole. Um, and uh, yeah, I haven't used this thing in a really, really long time. I got kind of carried away with modern razors and whatnot um, after using this for a little bit. And uh, while I do think this razor is somewhat overrepresented in the shaving world, because there are plenty of other Gillette, res uh, Gillette vintage razors that shave just as well, if not better in my opinion, um, this is still a good razor, and I did enjoy using it back in the day. So, um, yeah, but that's going to be our first of our sort of second chance. And then the second thing is this fine platinum aftershave, which was gifted to me by uh, IMSMS. Um, I, when I was using this after he first gifted it to me, I wasn't really sure how I felt about the Creed Aventus scent. That's what this is a dupe of. And um, I just wanted to try this again and um, see if that cologne type scent has really grown on me. Um, the other two products I'm gonna be using today I have reviewed on this channel before. First is the Oleo Canaan uh, in their Canard duck fat base. Um, I did do a video with this and I know I like this one, so I figured I'd keep that consistent. And then this, uh, Yaki 24 millimeter Mocha Express Synthetic Brush. Um, Use this uh, in a video also. It was maybe one of my first videos I ever did. So keeping those two variables kind of constant, um, gonna be retrying the Fat Boy and the Fine Splash, as I said. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get some water in my face and uh, start lathering up here. After about a 45 second load, this is what we got on the brush. Um, didn't add very much water. Uh, when I was uh, loading off the tub, so I suspect I'll have to add quite a bit as I go into my uh, face lather here. Okay, got the fat boy set on four, and there's a fresh Gillette seven o'clock sharp edge in there. Thank you. 
All right, first pass done. Um, feels a little scrapey, not tuggy, but uh, I'll see if I can improve my technique here on the subsequent passes and um, yeah. So we're gonna rinse, come back for pass number two. Much better second pass there, um, in terms of how the blade and brazier felt together. Sometimes, um, you know, once you've cut down a bunch of stubble after the first pass, it'll be easier for the blade to kind of work through the hair when there's less there, of course. Um, anyway, gonna rinse, come back for pass number three.
All right, after a couple touch-ups there, good to go. Um, yeah, that was weird. The second and third passes were much more comfortable than the first for me, really. Um, maybe it was just my technique with remembering how to use this razor or something. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a first for me. Usually the second and third are more difficult. Anyway, gonna rinse and come back and talk to you over some post shave. For post shave today, the aforementioned Fine Platinum, which is a dupe of Creed Aventus. Um, my buddy at SMS who sent this to me, he added a few uh, ingredients to make this aftershave a bit more skin friendly because as they tell you on the label here, they really want you to know that it contains only alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol, which I guess for some people, that's a good thing. But I think for most of us, uh, we wish there were a few more uh, skin food goodies in here. So anyway, I think there's like glycerin and sort of items like that in here that make it a little bit um, less drying, perhaps. So, a couple douses here. Pretty big alcohol kick at the front, I'd say. Mm. Now I feel the menthol. Yeah, the classic Creed Aventus, man. Uh, this kind of reminds me of uh, Abercrombie and Fitch store. You know how they would have clones smelling in there? I assume that were theirs that they wanted you to buy. But uh, whew, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm sold on this uh, Creed Aventus still, but I appreciate it for what it is anyway. Um, so good, let's do a final rundown here. Um, Talk about the fine platinum. Yeah, the menthol is really kicking in now. Boy. Um, the oleo canin in the uh, let's do this way, in the canard duck fat base performed just fine for me. Not fantastic, but definitely did the job. Um, this Yaki Mocha Express Synthetic uh, it performs pretty similar to that 26 millimeter Timberwolf knot that I always use on here. But the, the hairs are a little bit, the well, the fibers rather, are a little bit thinner, it seems. And so it causes them to clump together like this and have weird bumps in them that I don't feel like I feel in the Timberwolf knot. But um, again, the performance is somewhat similar, though that sort of happens with this brush. And then finally, the 1960 Fat Boy uh, setting four with a sharp edge in it. Again, not bad. Um, I think slightly better than I remember, but um, I think I still prefer stuff like the Aristocrat Junior, the Flat Bottom Tech, um, razors like that. But uh, I think everybody's gotta have a fat boy anyway, right? It's so iconic, whether I like it or not, whether I think it's over represented in the vintage Gillette market, doesn't matter. It's a iconic razor nonetheless. So um, thank you all for watching this uh, Second Chance Shave video. And um, yeah, I'll be coming out with that video with the success uh, sometime this weekend. So um, stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time. Thanks, everybody.